Or just a few things I'd like to say to people. If people would stop ringing to referee fights, I don't referee fights anymore. If they would stop knocking at the door to referee fights, over the last couple of months there's actually been about seven or eight people there. Even in the last couple of weeks, last two, three weeks. I don't want to know about that in any way, shape or form. I gave my life to Jesus Christ a few years ago. It's the best thing that i ever done, what he's done for me, my wife, my children, my family, in every way, shape or form. And I'm delighted with that and I'll never change that and I'll never walk away from that. This generation, we'd say my generation, people within my age category, people younger than me, people that are a little bit older than me, badly need, everyone needs Jesus Christ. There's nobody that doesn't need Jesus Christ. Every single person in the world needs Jesus Christ. But this generation is really, really gone down the toilet. But looking at the stuff that they're doing, looking at Facebook, looking at YouTube, looking at everything that's going on. The devil is genuinely taking people over, from what I see, and they'll end up going to hell. So I'd encourage people to get themselves a Bible, um, go to church, accept Jesus as your Lord and Saviour. And another thing I'd like to say as well, thanks to everybody in, all over the world that's been sending messages on Facebook and all these prayer uh Prayer, uh, prayer group pages that's on Facebook. This is my little girl. Thank God I have her home. Thank Jesus. She's okay now. She's doing very well. And thank Jesus Christ for that. And thank you to everyone for your prayers. So I have a lot to be grateful for. For things that have gone on for me. And I strongly, strongly tell people and encourage people to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Saviour. If not just out of curiosity, get a Bible and read it and see everything that's in it. Everything that's going on around the world now, all the wars in the Middle East, everything that's going on, it's all here, it's all in it. But the only way to heaven is Jesus Christ. There's no other way to heaven than Jesus Christ. No other way. God loved the world so much he sent his only begotten son. Whoever shall believe will have eternal life. Jesus died on the cross so we'd get to heaven. Accept Jesus as Lord and Saviour or born in hell. It's entirely up to you. Whatever you decide to do is your business. But don't say you are never ever told. And it's not God's fault. It's not Jesus' fault. For the bad things that people have done at the church. God will deal with them himself. But that's no excuse for you to turn away from God or turn away from Jesus Christ to the Holy Spirit. That's not God's fault. What they don't there, they will pay the penalty for that. They'll end up. Most of them will probably end up in hell for things that they've done. If not all of them, if they don't repent. But I'm telling you now, Jesus is the only way. Accept Jesus as Lord and Saviour. Get a Bible. Read it. Look at it. Do the prayers in the Bible. There's the prayers, the Psalm prayers inside in the Bible. They're brilliant for every problem on earth. There's a prayer inside. It. Especially the Psalm 91 is a brilliant prayer. It's a prayer of protection over the entire family. And read really, and as you slowly go through it, you learn more and you learn more and you learn more. But I strongly, strongly, strongly encourage people to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Saviour because there's no other way to heaven, only Jesus. Not one other way in any way, shape or form. There's things that has happened to me over the last three years, especially over the last year and a half, and something has happened to me last April that it genuine, my faith is not going to break. No matter what happens, my faith will not break. Absolutely will not break. Not in any way, shape or form because Jesus is the way. He is the only way. Repent. Say your prayers, accept Jesus as Lord and Saviour. And this is the thing that I do as well, and it's actually brilliant. On a Friday, if you can do it for one day of the week, preferably Friday will be better, is just a fast. And offer your fast up to God for His purposes. It will be hungry when you get hungry and when you find it hard to get through it. Just ask Him to help you with it. I strongly suggest people do this. And when you wake up out of bed Saturday morning, you'll have a brilliant, brilliant feeling over it because it breaks stuff off. You just... Just fast and offer your fast up to God for his purposes, not for yours, for his. And he look after yours. But I'm telling you now, Jesus is the only way. There's no other way to heaven, only Jesus Christ. There's not a saint or no one that's going to get you to heaven. Just Jesus, because Jesus is God's son. He took the nails and took the lashes for you and he was murdered for you and rose from the dead for you. So no one else is going to get his glory. It's God's glory. God in heaven. And his son Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. And I'm telling you now, Jesus is the only way. Now people will laugh. Laugh away. Laugh all you like. That's your business. That's what you choose to do. But generally women will be better listeners anyway than men. So I would even say to any woman is, get a Bible. Get your children. And do your prayers on it. Do the Psalm 91 prayer. Do all the prayers in the Bible. Read your Bible. Go through it. Look at it. 
and everything then will fall into place. If you look after the small things, the big things will fix themselves. In Jesus' name. So God bless. Goodbye.